Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings turn out to be love readings. We will just see what comes up. We're going to get a couple of oracle cards and see what comes up. And we have one strategy. Alright, for February. It's about coming up with a strategy. All right, this is about writing it down, writing out what your desires are, uh, finding a focus, okay? Putting it on paper and, you know, following the plan. We're going to get another one. Let's see what comes up. It's about coming up with the idea. It's actually, you know, taking the time to focus, to come up with the right way to approach a situation. So that could probably be, you know, one of the basis of this month is coming up with a plan. Now, like I said, or I think I said, generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. Ooh, for f fulfillment and wishes you know this is a uh, equivalent to the nine of cups in the regular tarot deck so this is wish fulfillment should you come up with the plan there's a good possibility that your wishes will be fulfilled all right so let's keep going i will try to remember to zoom this in this is for Pisces for the month of February. Now, this may not resonate because it's not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. There we go. Oh, manifestation. You're starting out the month on a great note. This is uh, the first card, you know, well, the Fool is the first card, but this is the number one. It's right after the Fool. It's where your journey has started in your manifesting success, all right? It's like you're no longer living in the past. You're moving forward with vigor. You know, you're using your creativity to bring about your wish fulfillment. I mean, that's fantastic. Um you may be letting go of something. You may have already let go of something. There could have been some kind of tension that is has dissolved or has uh, removed itself from your life or you removed it from your life. It's like there's been some kind of um, split perhaps, some kind of conflict that it's no longer there. It's like it's being removed. And I think you took action to remove it. It's like I'm not going to live in this state of mind anymore. <sighs> but there's still a lack of confidence here. So I don't know what that's about. There's some kind of lack of confidence. Maybe you feel like you've, you're not making the, the amount of progress that you hope to make. Even though you're manifesting change and you're shedding the old, you're still having that lack of confidence that this is really going to be successful. But I really feel like you are going to be successful. You just might need a little bit more time. Um, it's like you're still learning. You're still going through this process. You're, you're getting there. You're almost at the end. You're almost ready to step over that finish line. But you haven't yet. It's like you're so close to starting that new chapter. But it's really important for you to follow the, all the steps and to go through those steps that you need to go through. But wish fulfillment is coming. It is around the corner. You just have to continue on your path and um, continue letting go of the past. It's like you're you're headed in the right direction. You you're really really making um, positive changes in your life you are it's like you're bringing you there's it's a time of good luck it's a time of good fortune you are changing your course you're in the process of a big change right now and that's what's happening it's like you are you are willing to let go you're willing to start over you're willing to create newness in your life and you're taking the steps to do that and there are steps okay it doesn't happen overnight and that's exactly what you're doing you just need to have more confidence. 
have more confidence in your plan. If the more confidence you have, the more successful it's going to be. You know, this 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 worry that you have, it really doesn't serve you. Okay, it really doesn't. You may be feeling guilty for something that you really don't need to feel guilty about. You may be feeling guilty for for this uh, split that has happened, for this thing, whatever you let go of. You may be feeling like you did something wrong, but there's no reason to lose sleep over it. Really, there isn't. Um, because you had to follow the path. It's like, this is, this, it was destiny, okay? It was, whatever has happened, it was destiny. It's like, it, it, this, you are following the path that you are meant to follow. Your intuition is telling you that you made the right decision. So why do you doubt it? Why are you doubting your intuition? It's like, you, you just need to trust yourself, all right? It's, this script has already been written when this card comes out. It has. What's meant to be will be. And you know it, okay? You know it. There's no reason for you to doubt your thoughts, okay? Because what you, whatever you're thinking, whatever your intuition is telling you is correct, okay? I feel like uh, your psychic abilities are very prominent at this time. And they have been. That's nothing new, right? You may be feeling lonely, all right? You may be feeling lonely. And you really, you know, I wouldn't consider it loneliness. It's really a time of introspection. It's time for you to focus. It's time for you to come up with a strategy for your future. What is it that I want? What kind of person do I want? What kind of job do I want? What kind of future that I do I want? And that's that's exactly what you're doing. It's like you are manifesting positive change in your life and growth in this change of course. You're manifesting it. You're taking action. You are bringing about success by taking this this valuable time to step back and think about your future. So I really feel like this month that things are starting to um, happen in your favor because you've taken the time to to think about it. You've taken the time to become aware of who, what, when, where, all of that. You've taken the time that you need to manifest this change that is so needed in your life. And part of this change requires letting go of something. Now I just want to zoom this in before we go any further. You know, it is definitely a very intuitive time, so I really have to remind you that your intuition is spot on. So whatever you're hearing, whatever you think, whatever your dreams are telling you, you really need to pay attention to those because they're giving you the messages that you need to hear. Please do not doubt your intuition at this time. It feels like you are discovering new... Uh, new ways okay you're you're just discovering newness at this time it's like a new perspective that's what it is you know for some of you there could be a new you know there could be a birth there could be um, a new relationship that comes into your life all right there could be um, just wanted to let you know that there could be a new relationship that you're manifesting or you could have cut out a relationship all right, because there is some kind of split that has happened that has caused some guilt and depression, and it could be over somebody that you loved. Could go a couple different ways here. There could have been, there could be a relationship that's that is around the corner, but you haven't, you you aren't quite ready for it yet. You know, you're getting ready. You're almost there. All right, it's like I'm I'm working on myself right now, deciding it what I really want so that I'm ready for this next relationship that comes into my life. 
Now, this month, there could be a relationship that actually does show up in your life. But it feels like you have to put yourself out there. You may be feeling like you don't have enough to give or you're not ready. You're just not ready to have fun. Um, you may have been involved in a third party situation and there could be regrets or rejection around that. Okay, it feels like for some of you, you know, you're maybe you're just not ready for a relationship right now. You are, but you aren't. It's that kind of energy. Um, I would kind of like a relationship, but I'm not quite sure I'm, I'm ready for one yet. And that's kind of what I feel. So I want to know what you guys have been focusing on. What have you been focusing on? Because it feels like you're you've closed some door. You've closed a door. Um, Perhaps you've closed the door with something that didn't make you feel confident, didn't make you feel good. And because you've closed that door, because you've closed that door, there is a new, there's a new uh, path right in front of you. I do see a change of course, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, somebody who that is very stable, secure, and loyal. But it feels like you're losing sleep over this person. You may be losing sleep and feeling like there's there's definitely a feeling of a loss. You know, I I didn't there's a loss perhaps over this person. And now you may be feeling lonely. Um, and this can be any sign, really, but it just feels like there was some kind of dependability that you had depended on that now you've lost confidence in it. Like, there's there's no future. There's no future with this person anymore, and you're coming to grips with that. That could be it. That's what, maybe why you've decided to take a time out. Um, Probably a Taurus, okay? Some of you are dealing or were dealing with a Taurus and now there could have been some blockage, you know, where they've blocked you or you've blocked them. But perhaps now the, a change of course comes comes along. You know, I think there may have been some kind of split because we have this split that forces you to go down a new road. But this, this Wheel of Fortune is also a change of course. Whatever has happened is bringing you closer to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Whatever has happened, whatever um, has fallen apart is bringing you closer to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, okay? You really need to trust me on this. It's like there's been some kind of break. There's been some kind of breakup, I believe, because this is a breakup. There's been some kind of breakup that, you know, it, it, there was probably some kind of karma or there was some kind of destiny involved here with another person. And I think that now... That maybe you have taken the time to step back and focus. There's a chance. There could be a chance for a renewal. I mean, there could be. There could be. Maybe there was a third party relationship, and now somebody has really taken the time to, and they realize something. You know, the secret has been revealed. The truth has come out. And this is quite interesting here. Um, It feels like you've been seeking guidance. You've been seeking the answers and they're finally coming. I see good luck. I see good fortune. I think the wheel is starting to spin in your favor because you've taken the time you needed to focus on what you really want. That's what I see. Because you've been unhappy. I see that there's been unhappiness here which forced you to really think about what you want. What what do I want? And it, this involves the ultimate wish fulfillment. And now I feel like you guys are coming up a, with a strategy to get what you want. Alright? That's what I see. Yeah, because it, it really feels like... Uh, you you may be you may be feeling withdrawn 
Okay, you may be feeling withdrawn. You may be feeling like there was no love. Now I can't lo I can't offer love anyplace else because I'm really not sure what I want. You know, or somebody wasn't offering you love. You could be dealing with somebody that wasn't offering you love. They weren't offering you support, emotional support, or you weren't offering them emotional support. And that could be wh where the guilt come from, the guilt or the losing sleep. Now, this can go either way. It's like there was a lack of emotional support, and somebody is feeling guilty, whether it's you or the other person that you are dealing with. Somebody is feeling guilty for not offering love, okay? And I feel like, I definitely feel like there's a blockage here, like somebody has been blocked or or is being blocked, okay? And, and I feel a lot of despair because of it. And I really, you know, there's a chance that there is a new beginning, okay? It feels like there is a new beginning here for somebody. Like you are being offered a new chance to do something, a new gift, a new security, a new stability, a new abundance. And this could be with somebody new or it could be with somebody from your past because the Knight of Cups often references somebody from your past. So, you know, there there is a chance that somebody from your past could be on your mind or you... Uh, could be on their mind, all right, and they may be thinking about offer giving you a new offer, all right. This is very interesting. There's definitely something new being handed to you. Again, we have manifestation here. It's you guys are manifesting something. You're manifesting something with your focus. You're focusing on something so much. And I think it's something from your past that you're manifesting it, okay? And, you know, you are actually be, being given a, a chance to start anew, okay? With that Wheel of Fortune under there, you, are, you have the opportunity to go down a new road and change this whole thing. Whatever it is, it's like to change your path. You ha you're being given this opportunity to change the, your course. Here they are. There's definitely been some kind of split. There's been some kind of breakup of some sort. A break in a partnership that is causing a lot of stress. It's causing sleepless nights. And I feel like, you know, look at this. The Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups. There's a lot of love here, or lack thereof. It's like, there once was love, and there's a lot of stress and guilt and, and anguish over it. It's like, there once was love, and I think that somebody wants to feel that love again. Okay, whether it's with this person from your past or somebody new, I think you might have two options. And that could be why this Three of Cups is here. Do you go back or do you go forward? Do you go back or do you go forward? But there has definitely been a loss of love somewhere or a lot or uh, an offer of love that didn't um, that wasn't reciprocated. Okay, or has it been reciprocated? Or maybe there's fear of a rec of a rejection in a reconciliation. This is often a reconciliation card. So somebody could be thinking about a reconciliation, but not taking action for fear of rejection. Um, or somebody could be actually really really freeing themselves from this breakup of some sort whatever it is it's like I'm finally going to walk away from this situation mentally I'm really gonna move on from it it's time it's really really time for me to move away from this situation Or maybe you're deciding to come out of isolation because upright, this is isolation. Maybe you are deciding to speak up on behalf of your feelings, on behalf of your feelings of love. It feels like that's what it is. Like somebody is deciding to speak up and to follow their gut, follow their intuition. 
but there's lack of confidence here. That's what it is. I feel like there's somebody is feeling like they want to communicate love to somebody, but there's lack of confidence for fear of rejection. But it's not over yet. Something is not over yet. It's like there's closure that is needed within a situation that hasn't happened yet. For one, some Pisces that are watching this, something has not ended yet and closure is needed. And I feel like somebody is really thinking about somebody perhaps from their past and they want to communicate but they don't dare to. But there, there's love, okay? There is love. There is, there's love here, okay? And I think that they, there's a feeling of rejection. I think somebody wants a reconciliation or, or, or new love. There, I, you know, this could go both ways. Now we have the Ace of Cups, okay? This, I mean, there's a lot of love here. It's like whether this is a new partner or it's somebody from your past. There's a lot of love. And somebody is afraid of being rejected. That's what I see. Whether this is new love or or old love can go both ways. Somebody has love to offer and they're scared. They're scared of being rejected. But you're losing sleep over it. Okay? Or maybe you're just scared of commitment altogether. You want to offer love, but you don't you're scared of actually committing to this. But somebody's deciding to come out of isolation, deciding to come out of their mental prison, prison and coming up with a strategy because they've realized of where their wish fulfillment is or they're looking for that ultimate wish fulfillment. And I think it's in love with all these cubs. So they're going to have to let go of something. All right. It's like, I don't want to be single anymore. And that whoever's watching this, it's like, I don't want to be single anymore. I've decided I don't want to be single. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to, I don't want to be involved. I can't have fun with anybody else. You know, that's what I see. It's like, I can't have fun going through this period of loneliness. I feel like somebody is lonely that is watching this and they're not feeling abundant. They're not feeling, um content and they they don't want to be alone anymore so whether this is you it's well this is for pisces i think maybe you guys are feeling like i'm very unhappy with where things are at so i'm going to have to i'm going to have to come out of this this time of sitting back and thinking about it and just taking action i really think this is a month of taking action to fulfill your wishes you taking action because that first card that magician card is the card of action. It's of using your resources to shed the old you. It's like I have finally become aware of what I want and now I have to take action. There's a bond here. There's a bond here between you and another person that is like undeniable. Okay, this is karmic. I think you are involved in a karmic situation with somebody that I think there's a, a, an obsession here. There's an obsession here that is beyond your, well it is. I mean, you can control it. You have the power to to free yourself if you want, but let me tell you, this bond is is nearly unbreakable, okay? And I think that you're dealing with a, a, a soulmate of some sort that you've come to the realization that I'm tied to this person. I'm tied to this person. And I don't know who this is for. I really don't. Somebody is tied to somebody. There's been some kind of split. There's been some kind of blockage where either you've blocked them or they've blocked you. And there's a lot of hurt here. And I think that somebody is coming to the realization that I'm tied to this person and I need, we need closure or, you know, I, I'd like a second chance of some sort, but I don't, I don't dare. I don't dare. 
or it could be there's a new love that comes into your life and you are there's an offer this could be a uh, reconciliation with somebody or it could be new love and you just you just don't dare to take action but there's a lot of uh there's a deep, deep connection, put it that way. Whether it's this new love or your past love, there's a deep, deep, deep connection. But man, it feels like once you were happy and now you're not. You know, like I used to be happy here. What happened? And that's where this time of introspection comes in. It's like I feel like you guys have really, or you are, taking the time to become aware of what you really want. And I feel like there's been some kind of breakup. And now you want to go back. Oh I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I see. It's like I, we used to be happy. What happened? What happened? But you're feeling like. Oh I'm rubbing my heart. I'm rubbing my heart. You're feeling like you don't have the strength. You don't have the confidence. I don't have the confidence to do this. You know, we've come a long way. We've learned a lot together, but I just don't have the confidence, you know, and it feels like you're on the edge. You're on the edge, but you're on the edge of something wonderful. So just keep doing whatever you're doing. It's like, oh, God, what is this? It's like you're becoming clear. Yeah, you're becoming clear. It's like the, you, the, the decision is now clear. You know what you need to do. Whether you go back or you go forward. The decision, it's decision time. And now you're seeing the situation clearly. This is the Seven of Cups reverse. It's like no more confusion. I got it. Now I get it. I understand. This, this time of awareness has made me realize what I really want. And now I think you guys are coming up with a strategy strategy to get what you want, whether it's somebody from your past or somebody new. It's like, I have to come up with this strategy to fulfill my wishes, okay? This can go either way. I feel like somebody has finally become clear as to what they want, and now they're coming up with the plan of how to get it. There's definitely a a bond here that is undeniable. It's a karmic soul level bond, okay? That is, you know, at times it can be toxic, okay? It can be toxic, but it's, it's undeniable, okay? It is, it's undeniable. And I think that somebody is deciding to do something about it. God, what is this devil card? It's karma. That's what it is. Yeah. Act on your hunches. It's time for you to act on your hunches regarding whoever this person is that you feel so deeply bound to. This is act on your hunches. Have confidence, have courage, and this was meant to challenge you. This person came into your life to challenge you. That's what soulmates do. Or this person is coming into your life to challenge you, whichever way it is. But I feel like there's a lot of passion for somebody that you can't deny you can't deny. It's just the way it is. I do feel like it's somebody from your past, okay? I really do. I mean, I can't I can't deny it. I'd like to say that it's somebody new for all the, these people that don't want to go back with somebody from their past. But, I mean, now I look down and this is what's on the bottom of the deck. I mean, I can't. I can't deny this card. We all know what it means if you've been following tarot readings. This is somebody from your past coming into your life most of the time. Coming back into your life. Or that's who you're thinking about. You're reminiscing about this person from your past that you are bound to. And these cards are telling you to act on your hunches.
So I feel like that, uh, so this month is about coming out of your period of self-awareness, coming out of your period of solitude, um, realizing what you really want and taking action to fulfill your wishes. We're going to get you a couple advice cards and see what comes up. I feel like there's been some unhappiness for the last three months, you've been very, very unhappy over a situation, and now it's time to take action. That's what I see. Maybe there's a vacation on the horizon. Um, the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping Imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. And you know what I tell people quite often is that when you are having problems in love, it is hard to excel financially because when you're you're not in alignment, when you're not happy, you're not you're not in the best place to to excel in your career, okay? When when your love life is abundant, everything else falls right into place. Um, so I just want to remind you all, this person that I said from the past, this could be somebody from a past life as well. So if there is somebody new in your life that you are very, very attracted to and that you feel very bound to, you could have known this person before. All right. So if it's not somebody from your past per se, if you're sitting there saying, hell no, hell no, I'm not, I don't want to go with anybody from my past. There could be new love that comes into your life and you've known this person before. But I think for the majority of the people watching this, that there's somebody from your past that you cannot let go of. And now you have realized the truth. And you're coming up with a plan. So anyway, could be either way. Take it as it is. Um, that's what I have. And talk to you later.